In this video, we're diving into the symptoms of a bad mass airflow, MAF sensor. The mass airflow sensor, also called an air meter, plays a crucial role in the engine's operation by measuring the amount of air passing through the throttle body. This sensor detects the airflow and sends a corresponding signal to the vehicle's computer system. The signal generated by the mass airflow sensor is utilized by the car's computer, along with inputs from the manifold absolute pressure sensor and the throttle position sensor. Together, these sensors assist in determining the optimal timing for injector opening and the required spark advance to maintain a fuel ratio of 14.5 part of air to one part of fuel. The mass airflow sensor is typically situated between the air filter housing and the throttle body in the engine compartment. Its location may vary slightly depending on the specific make and model of the vehicle, but it is commonly found along the intake duct or tubing leading to the engine. A malfunctioning MAF sensor can manifest in various symptoms, indicating potential issues with the vehicle's engine performance. Let's explore the symptoms of a bad mass airflow sensor one by one. The number one symptom is illuminated. Check engine light. A malfunctioning MAF sensor can trigger the check engine light to illuminate on the dashboard. The number two symptom is error codes. Malfunctioning MAF may trigger the P0068 OBD2 code upon scanning. The number three symptom is rough running or hesitation. If the starter continues to run after the engine has started, it's a sign of a potential problem. The number four symptom is visible exhaust emissions. Visible exhaust emissions may be observed while driving due to a lean or rich air fuel mixture resulting from the faulty MAF sensor. The number five symptom is engine stalling. Intermittent engine stalling may occur due to a faulty MAF sensor. The sixth symptom is lack of power. Lack of power during acceleration may occur due to the faulty MAF, which affects the engine air intake system, leading to inadequate or excessive air supply to the engine. The seventh symptom is poor fuel efficiency. Inefficient fuel consumption may be observed as a symptom of the faulty MAF, as it affects the proper regulation of the air-fuel ratio due to either the absence of sensor data or a mechanical problem with the throttle valve. This can result in the wastage or improper utilization of fuel. To diagnose the faulty MAF sensor issue, you need to ensure that a faulty MAF sensor is the root cause. To confirm the MAF sensor is functioning properly, the MAF sensor needs to be tested. There are different ways to test a MAF sensor. The first test method is to check voltage using multimeter. In this method, we measure the voltage of the MAF sensor output using a multimeter. The sensor's power supply is provided with the car ignition in the on position. Follow these steps to test correctly in this method. The first step is to set the multimeter to voltage mode. Then connect the red probe to the signal wire of the MAF sensor connector. Remember, the signal wire is usually the one in the middle, but it's always a good idea to double check with your vehicle's wiring diagram to be sure. Now take the black probe of your multimeter and connect it to a reliable ground point like the battery negative terminal or the engine block. Next, turn on the ignition key without starting the engine. This allows power to flow through the MAF sensor for testing while keeping the engine off. Finally, check the voltage reading on the multimeter. Typically, the voltage should read between 0.5 and 1.5 volts. If the voltage falls outside of this range, it indicates a faulty MAF sensor that needs replacement. The second test method is to check resistance using a multimeter. In this method, we measure the resistance of the MAF sensor. Follow these steps to test correctly in this method. The first step is to switch the multimeter to the OHM mode. The second step is to connect the probes of the multimeter to the power and ground wires of the MAF sensor connector. Typically, the power wire is red and the ground wire is black, but refer to the wiring diagram to confirm. The third step is to ensure that the ignition key is turned off to prevent any electrical interference. The fourth step is to measure the resistance between the power and ground wires. The multimeter should typically read between 200 
and 600 ohms. If the resistance falls outside of this range, it indicates a faulty MAF sensor that requires replacement. When a car exhibits the symptoms mentioned above, and the MAF sensor has been checked and found to be in working order, but the issue persists, it's essential to inspect the other components of the air intake monitoring system that exhibit the same symptoms of bad MAF sensor. Issue number one is faulty manifold absolute pressure sensor. A defective MAP sensor can produce similar symptoms to those of a bad MAF sensor. The MAP sensor measures the pressure within the intake manifold and assists in determining the air-fuel mixture ratio. The number two issue is a faulty throttle position sensor. A malfunctioning TPS sensor can also present symptoms resembling those of a faulty MAF sensor. The TPS sensor monitors the position of the throttle plate and sends signals to the engine control unit to regulate fuel delivery and ignition timing.